Hey everybody! I wanted to show you guys a pretty cool observation that I'm not the first one to notice this, and actually Sweet Home Alabama grew out several seeds and noticed the same thing happening, and I actually was able to obtain cuttings from him to further study this in our trial rows. But that is the fact that the Prague Chimera, uh, or sometimes called Sitsuma, because it's a chimera between Satsuma and Trifoliate Orange, it does produce seeds that yields both unifoliate and mixed foliage types, so bifoliate, trifoliate, all of that, um, both types of seedlings from the same seed. Uh, so we do have polyembryonic seeds being produced by the prog. Uh, so from the Satsuma fruit, we're getting seeds that have multiple embryos. One or some of the embryos are true to the Satsuma, which if we could see closer, they are unifoliate and resemble a normal Satsuma seedling. And when grown out, and you can see this on Sweet Home Alabama Homestead's channel, uh, he has one seedling, or maybe more, that looks completely like a normal Satsuma. And then he had others, likely grown from the same seed, that look very hybrid. You can tell right away the difference, how those leaves are alternating, and how that topmost leaf has that little glove, that bifoliate leaf, you could tell that this one is the result from hybridization between both halves of the same plant because it's a chimera, not a hybrid. So interestingly, and a lot of us are speculating, it's most likely due to the fact that part of the flowers that are forming is uh, either the male or the female portion is from the Satsuma and then the other portion is from the trifoliate orange. So that when these flowers are getting self-pollinated, pollinating themselves, there are actually parts of them that are not purely just the satsuma, which is what the fruit ends up resembling, because it is a satsuma fruit. But parts of those flower are coming from the trifoliate orange, and through that cross-pollination between the two on the same flower, we're getting plants that are Satsumas. This is a Satsuma trifoliate orange hybrid. Although we could also speculate since we don't know 100%, perhaps there's some weird graft hybrid uh, interaction going on, and there's some DNA from the trifoliate orange being passed down, even though it's not a hybrid. Uh, so perhaps some of these seedlings are some weird recombination, uh, even if it's not uh, the result of cross-pollination. Although it seems more likely that because it's a chimera and it does tend to do some funny things, perhaps these flowers aren't pure satsuma because we're noticing this rather frequently actually, where when you have these seeds with multiple embryos, of course that means some will be true to the mother and some won't be, and the one that isn't true to the mother looks like a hybrid between the two halves of the chimera. So it's really fascinating, and I'm wondering what the fruit quality is like with these zygotic seedlings, with these sexually produced hybrids. Um, there's a chance that it's not good, or that it's similar to your run-of-the-mill citrandarin. Um, there are Sitsumas out there that don't taste great, and there's some that show a little more promise, so we have no idea what these are going to be like. <clears throat> but I will plan on growing these out to a point where I can take a section, graft it onto a larger trifoliate orange plant, and then study it in the uh, field rows and see how it performs outdoors, what its hardiness is like, and eventually what the fruit quality is like, which we imagine will be inferior to the Prague Chimera itself because the fruit won't be pure Satsuma. It will more than likely be hybrid fruit with qualities intermediate between the trifoliate orange and the Satsuma mandarin. So very interesting to see this. I just thought I'd show you guys because as we're germinating this, these seeds, we get to notice a lot of their, I guess, early characteristics. And here, right off the bat, we could tell just how different these two seedlings look. It was really cool seeing them come up and see how differently they grow. And you could tell, of course, the hybrid seedling with the trifoliate orange is growing more vigorously, which can happen sometimes with the hybrid seedlings as well as just having those trifoliate orange genes, 
turns these things into little monsters, uh, and they certainly grow more vigorous, uh, vigorously and have more resilient root systems. So, very cool to see this up close. Hopefully you guys found that interesting too. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any other theories about how this could have happened. We still don't know exactly, so there's a lot to learn, but right now that is what I think is the prevailing theory on how this is happening. Uh, perhaps maybe it's worth studying these flowers up close and seeing if we can notice this uh, visually. It might be difficult, but uh, it's worth a try. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll update you when eventually we get these grafted out into the rows. But until next time, I'll see you guys.